Hi, welcome to Hook and Chat with Annie Garumi and our friends at Hobium Yarns. Hi friends, welcome back to Hook and Chat with Annie Garumi and Hobium Yarns. I think it is week four now for our Hook and Chat and I'm going to work on this basket weave blanket that I've you know been working on this uh, for a long time. But my son has looked up some some jokes and we're going to see, we do this every now and then we pick you know we pick a topic and then we look up jokes like last time we looked up cow jokes because the lunar new year's is um it's the year of the ox so we found some funny cow jokes but today our jokes are going to be about fish, fish. so let's uh go ahead and hear it while i i hook away let's hear one what kind of fish only comes out at night um a night fish no wrong Oh, that makes sense. Okay. What did a shark eat with his peanut butter sandwich? What did he eat with his peanut butter sandwich? A jellyfish. Oh, like peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> I get it. Ooh, I just did this last row wrong, honey. Hold on. What? One, two, three, four. Five. Oh, wait. Did I do it wrong? One, two, three, four. Oh, I did. Okay, yeah. I'm going to undo this while you're while you're telling me. Why did the fish get bad grades? Uh, because he sucked. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Why? Because it was below sea level. Oh, do you get that joke? Not really. Because C is average. Like the, you know, when you get oh, yeah. grades. Get yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What kind of music should you listen to while fishing? Um, I this should... one is really funny. It was really funny. Yeah. What kind of music? Um, C. Kestra? No. No? What? Not okay. Something with a good tuna. Ah, oh, ho, 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 ho. I get it. I get it. I get it. How did, how do shellfish get to the hospital? Um, is it funny? Uh, what is it? In a, in a clam kit. Clambulance. That's silly. That is silly. Very um, silly. What did this shark say after eating a clownfish? Uh, that that tasted funny. <laughs> Was that right? Yeah. <laughs> what do whales have for dinner? Um, a whaley big meal. No. Okay. So what? They eat fish and chips. Oh, I get it. Fish and ships. <laughs> what does every fisherman want? What does every fisherman want? Fish. What? A gill friend. A gill friend? Do you get it? What? Gill is a part of a fish. Yeah, and what does gill, gill, friend, gill friend sound like? Girl friend. Oh, you do get it. Okay. What do you call a fish with two legs? A uh, walking fish? No. What is it? A toonie fish. <laughs> toonie fish? Yeah. I don't get it. Do you get it? Toonie. Toonie fish? Yeah. Oh, like, like knees on your legs. Okay. How did the oyster manage to hide from the fish? Um, he... I don't know. Clamophage. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. I think that's enough jokes for now because that was a lot. Um, but, you know, I was talking to my son about possibly him asking me a few questions that I can answer while I'm hooking away. So do you have any just general questions for me? Yeah. What? What do you like? What do you like? No, what? What thing do you like to make? With about yarn, with yarn. What do I like to make the most with yarn? Yeah. Oof. Probably. Probably amigurumi. Amigurumi. Yeah, like dolls. Yeah. Because I think it's uh, it's nice. Cute. Huh? And cute. Yeah, it's cute, and also it's like something that you can play with. And usually, when you give it as a gift, people like it and also it's not it, it's not like clothes where it's one size fits all I, see. I mean not one size fits all 
but and, and also I like making blankets because I feel like it's something useful. Okay. Oopsies, I'm. And why do you like yarn? <laughs> why do I like yarn? Oh my goodness, I'm getting so distracted that I'm not even doing this correctly. <laughs> I'm so distracted right now. Okay, why do I like yarn? It makes me really happy to be able to make something from the very beginning to the very, very end. Yeah. And it makes me feel like I completed something and it feels really nice. Yeah, kind of like when you finish a game and then you feel really good because you were able to complete the whole thing. Does that make sense? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe maybe some people can also because a lot of people watching this love yarn also. So maybe our friends can leave a comment in the comment uh, box below letting us know why you like yarn. I mean, I I love yarn cuz I think it's just so pretty and so fun. Do you think I need more yarn? Mm -hmm. Do you think I have enough yarn at home? Yeah. <laughs> I have a room full of yarn. <laughs> I really do. Oh, I have like, maybe, maybe I have like 20 balls of yarn. Yeah, you have like, no, even more than that. There are like every cabinet in that. Every cabinet in that room. Yeah, that's true. This yeah, is so like, 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 yarn it seems is... like 200. <laughs> seems like 200 balls. Actually, maybe. No, it's not 200. It is silly. But it looks like 200. Each cabinet equals 100. <laughs> No, each each drawer yeah. does not equal 100, but yeah, it does feel like a lot of yarn though, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah because sometimes when and I'm... Huh? Here's a hard question. Oh, okay, there's another question. Okay, can you come closer so they can hear you too? What what question do you have? What, what pattern do you like to make most? You mean my own or making other people's patterns? No, not that pa kind of pattern. Like the patterns, like stripes. Oh, cloth. I see. I see what you mean. Like, um, in yarn, though? Yeah. I don't really do a lot of pattern work, though. I, I guess, I guess, um, I guess stripes, but I don't even really make all that, that many things with stripes, except for blankets. I see. Yeah, that's okay, a good that's question. Those are all your questions? Yeah. Thank you. Thank Bye. you for your great questions. All right. <laughs> bye 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 yeah that's uh, my son just you know I thought it would be fun for him to start the video off like that and uh, yeah we're in week four now and this blanket oh my goodness it's such a yarn eater this one so I was just talking to my my friend at Hobium uh, Zula she is very nice and I was like, oh, this is eating up so much yarn. I might have to get, I have to get some more. Luckily, they still have that colorway, so I'm very lucky. But you know what's nice about this, even though it's a yarn eater and it's significantly more heavy. I mean, it's not like super heavy, but compared to my Tunisian crochet one, um, it's it feels maybe like three times heavier. I think it's nice for those people who like a little bit of a weighted blanket. And so this feel, I think this would feel very like um, satisfying and reassuring, like almost really like a hug, right? The other one feels just like a throw, like you throw it on um, while you're watching a movie, but this one actually feels nice to snuggle with as well. I really hope my friend likes it. <laughs> I really hope her kids like it. And so I've been slowly working on this one and it's moving a bit slower than my Tunisian Simple Stitch, but my Tunisian simple stitch also eats less yarn. So it's um, feeling like, you know, this one is a little bit more work, but I think it's worth it. It's so, it's so nice. And I love the way that the colors are changing. I don't have to use multiple balls at one time so that the colors look nicer. This is actually just pulled from one ball. So I feel like the colors are um, lining up pretty well. And I have to apologize for, um, there's just so much construction going on around here. So it's really hard to find a time when it's quiet and I actually have some free time to be able to record these videos. But um, it just recently, my son's school had a case, a, a student had COVID and so 
um, all of the school went back online again. And, you know, my son never went back because um, his grade didn't even have an opportunity to go back yet. But I just wonder when, I just wonder when the world will go back to normal again. I don't know if any of you are feeling that way, but that's, um, when I get news like that, it feels, feels a bit discouraging. I don't know. I, when I, when I heard that, I was, I was really sad because I'm sad for the student. I'm sad for the student's family because they must be, you know, uh, hopefully they don't have too bad of symptoms, but if they do, I would, you know, I hope, I mean, either way, I hope they have a speedy recovery and it's just really sad to hear, uh, especially as a mom, to hear that a child has COVID and it really makes me, like, makes my heart hurt a lot. And, and I see the way that the rest of the world is right now also dealing with COVID and it, you know, it's just, I try to be positive and I am, you know, we're lucky we have a home and you know, we're able to stay home and I'm, I'm, I'm able to stay home, um, and help him with his online learning. And, you know, I take care of everything at home and I'm able to make videos like this at home as well, which, you know, it helps, <laughs> it helps a lot, right? Because I don't have to go to an office, but I just, I just hope that all of you are safe and doing okay. And I hope that I hope that you're able to at least like uh, video chat with your friends and and those that aren't able to. I hope I hope our little weekly meeting makes makes you feel good, basically. And on to better news. On to better news now. Um, yeah. Anyway. Okay. So totally, totally different news is that I have been having some pain in my in my hand here and I have uh, an array of projects that I'm doing just like you know I have like five different works in progress that I'm working on right now so I have these two blankets I'm working on my amigurumi doll I'm making a, um, a miniature ox and when that's done I'll show you um it's the same pattern it's just uh, a smaller version of my ox and using very very tiny thread and it's actually um bringing pain to me like here I think it's because it's so tiny and the tension is so tight and I'm also working on some, you know, I mentioned in the last video that I'm working on some new designs that are kind of in the Orville inspired. I have Orville here actually. I've made so many of these guys, but I did this for a festival Ami Gurumi with the Sewing Box magazine and um, yeah, I was going to come out with a line of um, different animals in this style, in the Orville style. And unfortunately, I haven't had much time to be able to do that with, um, you know, not having much free time. But I'm working on it. And um, yeah, actually, this one is, um, this yarn is also from Hobium Yarns. And it's the cottony. And it's very, very nice. And it's been holding up very well. And I'm trying to think when I made this. It was so long ago that I made this. And it's still looking good. So yeah, so whenever... Whenever I have a moment to actually crochet or design again, it would be wonderful to be able to make the next doll in that series. But, you know, it's okay. I'm, I'm giving myself a little bit of tenderness and saying that it's okay not to get everything done. It's okay that it comes out later because actually it's not important right so I'm telling myself that and I am trying to make sure that I don't give myself unnecessary stress because I know that during these times it's very easy to do um I've been I've been just home actually I haven't been out at all except for maybe the little area downstairs that we have that is closed off to the public so we're able to have this kind of um, courtyard looking area um, just for the buildings, the apartment building complex. So we've been going down there and just having like 10, 15 minute walks in the morning uh, between his online classes and trying to at least, um, you know, see the outside air 
while nobody is out there because most people are at work or you know doing online learning so we try to time it in that sense and it's been it's been really nice it's like those little little joys right like you go out there and you just feel so happy to be able to go out and breathe the air and I'm very envious of people who have a home and a backyard who can just like go into their backyard and be able to sit outside and we are in an apartment well Hong Kong is pretty much all apartment buildings and that's what that's another reason why there's so much construction and the apartments are just on top of one another and it's just like you can actually reach out the window and go into someone else's apartment and say hi <laughs> it's really really just on top of one another but anyway um that's been nice to be able to take some moments to go out and we you know we enjoy that are you having a look yeah what is it oh well, that's nice do you want to show them who is this let's show them who is this guy <laughs> what's his name his name is bert his name is bert and this is from a video game that that we really enjoy right yeah it's called what yeah yeah, Yoshi's Crafted World, which is very, very related to what I'm doing right now. It's a, a, a very adorable Yoshi game where he's kind of in this crafted world and one of the worlds has yarn, one of the worlds has, um, it's like made of origami boxes and it's a really, and like yeah, and stuff like that. It's an adorable game that I think if you have children that are kind of in the eight-year-old range or maybe even older, it's really just a super cute. And it's easy to play. Yeah, it's easy Except to play. The bosses. Yeah, the bosses are hard, but that's been something we've been doing in quarantine because um, our friend let us borrow that game, and then we just we just really fell in love with it. So, oh, are you, are you bringing it over here? So my son has uh, printed out these pictures because um, he wants to make... What are you making with it? What kind of a book? No, just regular. Just a regular book? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he, he's uh, printed out these pictures with the help of my friend. Um, what's this? This is another one. See, this is one of the bosses. So he's he has all these pictures. How are you going to do it in your book? Are you going to... No, just paste it on. You're just going to paste it on? What's that one? It's okay. You can show. Who is that? Clement. I think he's very cute, that one. Yeah, so it's a really great game. And then, um, <laughs> is that another one of the bosses too? What's his name? Shogun's a skewer. Shogun? A skewer. Ah, I see. Oh, you're gonna show another one? Oh yeah, this is another one too. Okay, so um, another, another, okay, you can show that one too. You might as well. Tin Can Condor, yeah, I like that one. And this one. Yeah, that one's Baby Bowser. So that's a that's been a game that he's been playing while you know we're we can't go out, and it's provided some you know entertainment for us. So I'm very that happy about really that. Fun. Yeah, it actually is really really fun. So if you, you have the, yeah, I do enjoy it, and it's a it it can it's only a two up to two player game, up right? Yeah, so it's a two player game. So um, he and I can play it together, which is really, really nice. And yeah, it's, no three player. yeah, no three player, it's okay. And we really enjoy playing that. You know what I'm gonna do? I think I'm going to switch over to the Tunisian crochet because I really want to show you my progress on that. It's amazing. Okay, I'll be right back. So friends, this is my Tunisian, Tunisian simple stitch friendship blanket and it has grown so much and I have to be very honest that I've been working on this more than I have the basket weave one because it's just so relaxing and it's so satisfying to see how much it grows. My son was able to take a picture for me so I'll stick it in here somewhere and then maybe I'll cut away to a video of me showing it to you on the... On so here is my Tunisian simple stitch blanket so far and it's looking really good. What do you guys think? I'm uh, alternating two of those balls, remember, that I said in the previous episode, but I'm just loving how it looks, and it's very unique, and I think, yeah, I hope her boys will love it. It's just, it's grown so much, and I'm very, very excited. So, 
so as I mentioned before, I have six balls of this yarn, so I'm going to use all six and then I'll give you the final measurements so that you're able to kind of see how big it becomes and I'm, I'm, I really love this yarn. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really, really thrilled with how this is turning out and as you can see, I am actually alternating rows because I, I mentioned before, eh, I won't mention it again because you know, I've already mentioned it once so it's like not worth mentioning but so that the colors are a bit less um it won't change as quickly so i was going to say that um i've been really enjoying the comments that i've been reading while um hook and chat have been out and and my biggest worry was that it would be too boring and that I would run out of things to talk about while I'm hooking away. So I've been thinking, oh, maybe I need to think about some topics or maybe even you could leave a comment letting me know if there's anything that you want me to talk about or anything that you're curious about. And, um, and I was having this discussion, a discussion with my friend, Jamie, who I've mentioned previously in my episode, she's a, very good friend of mine who also helps me so much with my yarny career so she helps me with all the um, editing and the graphic design stuff on my youtube channel and she's been a huge help and also she just loves loves my son so much that it's really it means a lot to me because obviously you know um, if you love me, you have to love my family, right? So, um, it's very, very nice. And we were discussing about, um, how she originally thought that Hook and Chat was going to be, um, the, the camera facing me, not so much facing my hands doing my work. And that, um, the camera view would be, you know, my face as well as me working on it. But, you know, when I was, um, planning it out, it was really hard because um, I'm doing it by myself, which means I can't see the camera view. And secondly, um, the other thing that was worrying me is that if I'm doing work, then I won't be looking at the camera. And then it would just be you looking at me looking down. <laughs> so that's the main reason why I did it. And also this, this, um, I have this uh, this light, this ring light, and it's really great because when it's um, you know the the window light is not so good, the natural daylight, then I can use this um, ring light, which I'm using right now, to mimic sort of a brighter atmosphere in my video. But this light, when it's in my face, I really start. I, it's too bright for me, and and unfortunately. <laughs> when I'm I'm hoping these videos are about 20 to 30 minutes long and I just feel like I would melt in front of it and become way too hot so I think maybe if I'm able to figure out a way to um, have someone help me which is kind of hard in these times right because no one can come over um, that would be the only way that I, I'd be able to do it and you know I do these while you know my husband is at work and my son is just you know off doing his own little project so that I can squeeze in like about 30 minutes and um, yeah um, I think one day that would be nice I maybe ideally it would be even nicer if I did like a hook and chat that was maybe I had another friend or like a different friend every every week that I talk to and we're just chatting away for about 20 to 30 minutes but coordinating that is a whole different task and figuring out the logistics of technology also because you know I'm not very good at that stuff but yeah that's like that's kind of an idea that I've had too that would be really fun like hook and chat with with friends and we can hear our conversations so yeah maybe in the future I'll do that um what else has been going on I just feel like every day is kind of a blur isn't it um, nothing much has been going on. Every week is always the same. It's just online learning and trying to hustle for my small business. Uh, you know, I've been trying to sell my patterns and 
you know, using the money from those patterns to actually, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. So my main objective with um, my small business, the, the big goal for my business is to be able to be self-sufficient enough to be able to pay some, some things like, you know, because I used to work before, but now I'm a full-time mom. I don't regret it. I'm very happy to do it. And it's, it was my choice because I, I want to be present um, for my son. And I feel very fortunate to be able to do that. So I want to be able to make it, you know, it would be nice if this could turn into a career where, you know, I could, my husband could, um, you know, quit his job. But obviously, I don't know if that can be even possible, but that that is the ultimate goal. But the secondary goal of my more realistic goal, I should say, is that I use the money that I make from whether it's um, these videos on YouTube or my pattern sales or collaborations and things like that, I use it to buy my son books and I uh, and art supplies. And there is, uh, as long as I have that money in my account from my sales, I feel very proud to be able to say that it was from my income, if that makes any sense whatsoever. It's not like, my husband is so supportive and he's so wonderful and he'll do anything right but it feels really nice to be able to say i bought it with my money that i made right and um and it's nice to be able to use that money also to buy my husband something small like you know even christmas time i bought him something and it was nice to be able to use my own money so um yeah so usually that money that goes to um I'm sorry usually the money that I make is I usually use it to buy my son all the books that he wants to read which I love because he loves to read and and art supplies so that we're doing something active at home with our minds and with our um, creativity so I'm I'm very thrilled to do that and then um, sometimes if I make enough I will also use that to donate to um, a charity that I feel very close to at that particular time because it's not always the same charity and yeah and then the other times I just save it so um, I'm not making a lot so I don't want to be misleading or anything but I it but it's enough to be able to buy him books every month so it's um I feel very proud of that. <laughs> and what else, um, small business wise, it's sometimes, um, it's, I, I'm so, so impressed with so many designers who are able to just bring their A game and, you know, their Instagram and their, uh, YouTube channels and they're able to like, like and comment on your posts and, be able to be fully present and it's really inspiring really really inspiring I hope I can get there one day I'm just I feel so overwhelmed by everything that you know I try to respond and I try to like and I try to try to you know um, respond to messages and things but oof, you know I'm, I would never be off my phone right if, if I did that so yeah I I try to try to prioritize um, my family first and then my self-care to make sure that I'm doing okay. So that takes priority. Um, actually, usually my self-care is number one because if I can't take care of myself, I can't take care of my family. So I make sure that um, mentally, emotionally, physically that I'm feeling good. And if I'm not, then I need to take care of that. And second is my family. Um, to make sure that they are taken care of and then third it would be my self, my small business and then you know after that is everything else so <laughs> so sometimes you know when I'm trying to keep up my social media game it's really hard because out of the prioritizing stuff in in my um, you know like what I just mentioned it's like way down the list because to me uh, the other things are more important like I love making these videos because I feel like I'm really engaging I feel like I'm really 
just having a lot of fun and being myself while being able to get some work done and getting getting a video out there where I'm able to share with you. So whether it's like something that's more casual like this, or if it's a um, tutorial, if I have some kind of a tutorial, then I feel like I feel very happy. And I feel like with each video I'm learning. So, you know, those take priority. And then social media is kind of like <laughs> way, 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 way back there. And also I get so overwhelmed because there are so many um, wonderful designers who always want to include me in their giveaways and I love it. And, you know, I, I, oh, I miss 80% of them because I'm so terrible at checking those messages. Uh, unless um, somebody like May, you know, because I talk to her daily or somebody that I'm, some other people that I'm close to happen to um, message me and I see it and they're able to be like, hey, there's a giveaway going on. Let's do it together. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so um, I'm very thankful for friends that are very, very understanding. And uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I hear a lot of noise going on in my home. I, I, I thought I would, you know, I probably need to stop soon because this video is getting very, very long. But yeah, how is everyone? How are you doing? Are these series um, something that you look forward to every Friday? I hope so. It's been a lot of fun for me, um, even though I'm sitting here just talking to myself, but it's been something that I really look forward to because I feel like it is friend time. You know, after I, after we both post a video and um, normally um, most of the comments are on um, Hobium's uh, YouTube channel, which is, it doesn't matter where it is. It, over there or my channel, it's, it's the same. I try to check it as much as I can after a video is posted and I, and I do my best to respond to every comment. So um, I'm thankful for you. Thank you for being so kind and so encouraging and laughing along and you know and I hope that it makes you smile and I hope that you know we bring a little bit of friend time to you every week it makes me it really makes me happy that that feeling to be able to make um, to be able to make you feel like you have a friend and so I know these times are hard and it's hard for me too and I, I can imagine it's even harder for people around the world because Hong Kong actually um, COVID number wise is doing okay compared to the rest of the world because of the uh, I think it's pretty strict like you have to wear a mask no choice and people are very diligent about their um, hygiene like the hand hand hygiene as well as like um, a lot of people will come home uh, after they go out and change immediately, take a shower and then throw all their clothes into the washer. So that way there is no, um, nothing from outside that is fresh, just lying around. And so I feel very thankful for that, but I know that it's really hard in other places in the world. And I really hope that all of you are, are safe, healthy, and able to take care of yourselves. And, um, I hope that one day that the world will open up again and we can we can go see our family and friends. I really I really miss my friends back in America. <laughs> I really miss my family back in America as well. And um yeah, I hope that one day the world can heal up and get better. So I am going to stop here because this video is getting very long and I'm dragging it out and I'm very sorry that, uh, you know, with each episode it's, it might seem like I'm stumbling on my words, but I just, I am having a lot of fun, I have to say. I really enjoy this. So until next week. I want to thank you so so much for watching and I hope that I hope that you're having fun. Just leave me a comment and let me know what's going on. What are you doing? How are you doing? Are you, you know, you need a hug? I'll respond with a hug. <laughs>
So thank you so much for watching and thank you to my friends at Hobium Yarns for making this possible. And I'll see you in the next episode of Hook and Chat with Annie Gurumi and Hobium Yarns next Friday. See you later. Bye.